Hey guys, welcome to another video for the K20 Pro, also known as the Mi 90 Pro and Rafael and Rafael in. Now, after a long time, we are actually talking about one of the best ROMs available for this particular device known as Siberia OS. The version has been bumped to 5.4. This is based on Android 12.1, also known as Android 12 L. In today's video, we're going to talk about the complete review. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now, without further ado, Hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Now let's see what we have here. We have Siberia Project version 5.4 Android 12 L updated on the 8th of April 2022. It is available as a G apps version and let's quickly have a look at the changelog before we start to review this. Kernel has been updated to Soviet 3.1 version 5.4. They have skipped 5.3 rebase on April Android 12.1 L tag. Some features were dropped. Some other features were added. Other fixes and improvement under the hood. Adapted overlays to Android 12 L. Updated power profile to Android 12 L improved storage performance, improved boot speed, other fixes and improvements under the hood. Right. Now, one thing about Siberia for the K20 Pro is that this is a splendid ROM. The smoothness, the, you know, feature composition, all the other things are really, really nice. If you look at this, even with Android 12.1 or 12L, the smoothness has just improved. Just look at how fluid this particular Google feed is. It works absolutely fine. There are no problems whatsoever. I do have a SIM card in there. I've tried making calls, tried using Wi-Fi calling. All the features are available and they work absolutely fine. Now, apart from this, it does come with very, very minimalistic applications. It doesn't come with a lot of bloatware. And the good part is the camera application included by default in this particular ROM is Gcam. So the front camera, wide angle camera, portrait, all of those features are working. You can try loading a XML of your choice and you can have a very, very good combination. Now, if you swipe from the top to bottom, you will see that you have your standard Android 12 quick tiles available with a power menu, edit option and the settings shortcut. You have all the information available over here. Anti-flicker, always on display shortcuts are present and they work absolutely fine. You also have a screen recorder which allows you to record internal and external audio. And when you are recording the screen, there are no stutters, no jitters, everything is fluid. That means not only you can play games, but you can also record your gameplay, which is a good thing. Now let's stop the recording here. Let's increase the volume a little bit and see how good the recording has turned out to be. All right. So standard stuff with Android 12.1 is if you skip the first five seconds of the audio recording, after that, the external audio recording is just fine. There are no problems whatsoever. Now let's quickly go to settings here and let's go to about phone and let's go to the Android version, which is 12. So this is Siberia version 5.4 with April security patch and the kernel of course is Soviet star, which always gives us good performance. Now there are a few additional features that we should have a look at. For example, if you go to apps, you will see you have all the usual stuff that is available. Battery options are available, battery usage and all the other features are there. Use pixel battery stats, battery temperature is being displayed over here. But when you go to Siberia settings, you will see that not only this ROM is minimalistic, but it also gives you a ton of customization. For example, if you go to system, you have UDFPS customization in which you can pick a ton of icons. For example, let's look at this one here. So face unlock is working. The Batman UDFPS icon is there. You have a ton of animations available over here, which work absolutely fine. Let's see this one. There you go. So the fingerprint is rock solid. Just to be safe, I've added the fingerprint twice, okay? Now, if you go to general tweaks, you have USB configuration. If you go to buttons, you have advanced restart, playback control, volume rocker wake, volume key cursor control, show volume panel on left. And then if you go to notification, you have some notification customization and you have blink flashlight and dialer customization as well. Moving on, if you go to panel, you have status bar customization. Once again, a lot of options over here, notification customization, a lot of options over here as well. And you have some options for the navigation bar as well. You can use a lot of gestures like double tap to sleep, double tap to wake. All these features are available. Swipe to screenshot is also present and along with expanded screenshot, it works absolutely fine. 
Now the big highlight over here is the AOSP gaming mode. You can add games of your choice. You also have the dynamic mode, disable auto automatic brightness, notification overlay customization, disable notification alert, no ringing, answer calls automatically, disable swipe gestures and disable USB debugging. So basically you have a complete full blown gaming mode available in Siberia. You also have a ton of UI customization which can you know improve the look and feel of your ROM. Now moving on if we talk about lock screen customization as you can see you have fingerprint authentication, fingerprint error vibration, ripple effect, media artwork and media art blur level as well. So you have these customizations as well. Last but not the least, you have about Siberia team in which you have all the credits. So not only this ROM is rock solid and fluid, but it also comes with a ton of customization, which is a good thing. Now, if we go to display, you have the lock screen section in which you have the option to skip lock screen after face unlock. And you have some privacy settings here as well. Add text to lock screen, double line clock, always show time and info, always on when charging. Advanced settings is there, wake up on gestures, pick up, hand wave, pocket. So, you know, all these advanced features which are useful and available in this ROM really, really improve your experience when you use Siberia OS. Now, apart from this, if you scroll further down, you have tap to wake, you have prevent accidental wake up, display cutout options and all sorts of things. Moving on, you have your standard old wallpaper and style, which we just had a look at. Monet UI is working absolutely fine. So no problems there whatsoever. If you go to security, you have fingerprint and face unlock. And as I mentioned earlier as well, face unlock works absolutely okay. There is no problem even on always on display. It works like a charm. So no issues there whatsoever. Now, over and above everything, when you actually scroll through the ROM, when you actually use the ROM, it works very, very smooth and very, very fluid. And the good part is that the performance on this ROM is pretty rock solid as well. Now, when we talk about performance, we will look at the benchmark numbers for which we will go to Google Photos, which brings us to the question, does it have unlimited storage? So let's quickly go ahead and check that. Now, as you can see, backing up from this pixel is free and unlimited. So you do get unlimited storage. Now, let's quickly have a look at the CPU throttling test. Now, as you can see, CPU throttled to 91% of its max performance and the average score was 175, 858 GIPS and the maximum score was 186, 815 GIPS. So for a 855, this is is a rock solid score again if we go to antutu benchmark you will see that we have 580072 this is one of the highest scores that i've seen on a custom rom thanks to soviet kernel moving on if we actually look at geekbench let's go ahead and check the single core and multi core score 758 single core 2478 multi core so you know the performance numbers are rock solid but what about the battery backup and charging now the charging speeds are absolutely okay 27 watt charger works fine there is no problem whatsoever let's go ahead and have a look at the battery backup shared to me by supriyanch and uh, prateek from our elite testers team now, as you can see over here over 24 hours he has played bgmi for two hours and the battery backup is pretty rock solid. So, you know, in terms of battery life as well on Siberia OS, you'll easily get four to five hours of screen on time. If you're not gaming a lot, you will get more screen on time than that. But I always keep saying this K20 Pro is a device which is almost three years old. Your batteries would have aged now and their maximum capacity would have reduced. So please be very careful when you judge a ROM on its battery backup. And as I said, the charging speeds are absolutely okay. So I did not have any heating or any such issues there whatsoever. Under the battery section, you don't really have anything new. So, you know, all the usual stuff is present and it works fine. And as I said, to the left, you have Google feed, which works like a charm. So all in all, if you ask me, if you have a Redmi K20 Pro, you want a one-stop solution, which gives you very good performance, decent battery life, safety net with Widevine L1, a decent enough camera application built into the ROM. This is your single stop. You should go ahead and install Siberia OS with F2FS file system and you should be good to go. Very soon, I'll probably do a live stream while playing scrims or I'll do a gaming review video on this. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.